Hello and welcome to BIM 360 Basics. We're right in the middle of our collaboration for Civil 3D video series. And so far, we've talked about what it is, whether or not you should consider using it. We've introduced our project team, which consists of six members. We have set up a project in BIM 360. We've configured Civil 3D to be able to link up to that project. And we've created our first drawing in the project, the survey file. In addition to creating the drawing, we've also created an existing ground surface and a data shortcut to that surface, which, is, which have both, both the drawing and the surface, have been posted to the project in the cloud so that our team can all access that information. Next, what I'd like to do is simulate Paula's role in the project. She's the designer, and she's going to do the initial layout of what we're going to say is a residential project. So you can see I'm logged in as Paula, and I'm going to create a new drawing. Now, before Paula does any layout in the project, she needs a frame of reference. She needs that existing conditions information as her backdrop. So just like she would in any project, she's going to most likely XREF the survey file into her current drawing. So from this window, I'll right click and pick Attach DWG. And the only difference here is that instead of browsing to a server somewhere, I'm going to browse into BIM 360. So I'll pick BIM 360, Epic Architects, my project, project files, civil 3D, and there's that survey file that I want to XREF. Now you might be wondering where this survey folder came from, and this is a pretty neat thing that happened. BIM 360 recognized that the survey file had a file dependency, that XML file that I imported to make the surface. So it took the liberty of uploading that file as well and putting it in its own folder in the Civil 3D folder. So that way, if someone else opens the survey file and they need access to that XML, they have it. So we're just interested in XREFing the file right now. I'll go ahead and click Open. There will be a short pause while BIM360 actually accesses and downloads the file. And I want to point out again, keep in mind, Paula could be in the same office. She could be sitting right next to me. She could be in, in a different office uh, in a different state or a different country. She could even be someone who doesn't work for my company at all. As long as I've given her access to the project and permissions to the folder, she can do what she's doing right now. So we'll just click OK, accept the defaults for the XREF, and I'll do a zoom extents. And we've XREFed in our survey file. Now I realize this survey file is lacking in detail. It's basically just contours, but this is enough for her to get started with her layout. So let's say Paula's laying out a subdivision. And again, this is a simulation, so it's going to be very simple. Um, but probably the first thing she'll want to do is start laying out some road center lines. So let's go ahead and create an alignment. I'll just accept all the defaults here. And we'll create a quick road center line through the project. So I'll just start here and work my way up through the land area that's available. So there's our alignment. Of course, Paula would continue with additional detail, but that's going to represent what we'll call the layout right now in the project. So Paula wants to make her layout available to the rest of the team for what they need to do. So she's going to save the file. And just like Tom did, instead of saving it to a file server, she's going to save it up to BIM 360. Now, luckily, Civil 3D remembered where I was before, so it went ahead and found that project location for me. So I don't have to browse through the very beginning of the path this time. I'm going to call this file layout. And now I've posted, or Paula has posted, a drawing up to the cloud for the rest of the project team to use. She's also created some Civil 3D data as well, right? So let's go ahead and data shortcut that alignment so that the rest of the team can get access to that too. So to do that, we'll simply launch the Create Data Shortcuts command. Check the box next to the data that we want to share and click OK. And just like it would on any other project, the alignment pops up here in Prospector and it's available to everyone on the team. Of course, the only difference now is this project's in the cloud, so anyone connected to the project through BIM 360 is going to have access to that data shortcut. 
So that takes care of Paula's role as the designer and in her creating the layout for the project. In the next video, we'll take a look at Greg's role as the civil engineer in designing the road. Thanks for visiting BIM 360 Basics. Please keep checking back for more tips, tricks, and tutorials having to do with BIM 360.